Gates Physics and uh, today we'll be starting a new chapter that is work and energy. So with uh, work and energy as we discussed work and energy, first today we'll be only discussing about work, okay, how work is done, what is work done, different examples related to work done and numericals related to it. So work done, when is the work said to be done? So you do anything when you lift a chair, when you push somebody, when you just lie down, you think you're doing work, when you're reading your books, when you're doing your uh, assignments, you think you're doing work, isn't it? But in physics or in science, it has a, de it has a different definition, okay? And how is work done defined in physics? So in physics, work done is defined as something which when applied, a force displaces the object. For example, for example, when if I if I just pull this up, okay, it was lying over there, and I just lifted it. So what is what, what am I doing? I'm doing a walk. What walk am I doing? I'm lifting this up. Now why why is this considered to be work done, isn't it? So when it was lying down, it was not moving at all. So when I lifted it, what am I doing? I'm applying a force. I did apply some force, isn't it? Even if it's a small amount of force, I did apply some force. And when I lifted it, what happened? It changes. It changed its position from one place to another. So when there is a force applied on an object, displaces the object. Which means if the object moves, when a force is applied on the object, then we say the work is done. Okay. Otherwise, when you, if you just lift a bag, you just hold a bag and just keep, stand still. Okay, even if you stand still for 5 hours, 6 hours, work will not be considered to be done. Work is not said to be done then. Why? Because there is no displacement. You did apply force, you did apply the force of lifting the bag, but still there was no displacement. So if there is no displacement, no work will be done. So what is work done? Work done is defined as the force when the force applied on the object displaces the object. Or in short, we say work done is a product of force and displacement. Okay, so work done is equal to F into D. This is your mathematical expression of work done. So what is work done? How is work is defined as? Work is done on an object when a force causes a displacement of the object. That means if the object does not move, no work will be done, no, ma no matter how much force you have applied. So all those physical, you know, mental effort is not considered to be work done. You continue thinking, you know, you just scratch your head to do some sum, unless until there is no displacement, no work will be done. You lie down, you read book, you finish entire book. But still, work will not be considered to be done because there is no displacement, okay? So, mental pressure or the mental work that we do, the mental exercise that we do is not considered to be work done in physics. Only the physical, that means when there is a displacement. So, work is the product of the force applied on an object and the displacement of the object. Now, some of the cases of the work done. See, when you lift this bucket up, when you lift this bucket up, what happens? You apply a force on this bucket and the bucket moves up. Okay, so in this case, the work will be done. Here, the coolie is carrying a luggage and is walking. In this case, the work will not be considered to be done. Why? Though he is applied force and the boss is moving along with him, but the force applied here is perpendicular, okay, it's in the perpendicular direction. So if it's the force is applied in the perpendicular direction of the surface, then the work will not consider to be done. Okay, you'll be understanding this more in detail in higher classes. As of now, just understand, if the force applied is in the perpendicular direction of the force, then the work will not be considered to be done. So work depends upon two factors. One is force, the other is displacement. Okay. Now see here. If the lady, here, the lady is pushing something, so when the lady pushes something, the work is considered to be done. Here, the lady is carrying a bag and just sitting. 
So here the work is not considered to be done. The lady is uh, sitting down and standing up. So in this case the work will be considered to be done. If the person is holding the object and not moving at all, then the work will not be done. Now, now see an example of uniform circular motion, the moon, when it revolves around the earth, will the work considered to be done in this case? No, the work will not consider to be done. Why? As you know, you discussed this in class 7 itself. What is displacement? Displacement is the shortest path travel, isn't it? And if the object comes back to its initial position, then the displacement is considered to be zero. That means no displacement is taken place, isn't it? So here, the moon, if it starts from here, it goes round the orbit and then comes back to its initial point. So when it comes back to its initial point, displacement is considered to be zero. If displacement is zero, then work done will also be zero. So no work is done by the moon on revolving around the earth. Similarly, earth revolving around the uh, sun will not be considered to be work done because it comes back to its initial point. And if it comes back to its initial point, displacement will be zero. That's why no work is done. Now, we talk about the units of work done. Okay. So what are the different units of work done? As we discussed, work done is expressed as force into displacement. What is the unit of force? SI unit of force is Newton. And what is the SI unit of displacement? Meter. So Newton, meter, also known as Joule. Okay, the SI unit of work is Joule, named after the physics uh, scientist uh, James Prescott J. Okay, and symbolized with capital J. So, what is the unit of work done? The SI unit of work done is J. And the smaller unit of work done will be ERG, which is not mentioned over here uh, and is not mentioned in your book also. There is another unit which is also called KGF. Okay, what is KGF? The full form of KGF is kilogram force. So, when an object is displaced with the help of the gravitational force of the earth then we when we when the work done by the gravitational force of the earth we call we refer the unit as kgf so everything that is related to the gravitational force of the earth work done by the gravitational force of the earth then we say it to be kgf and what is the relation between kgf and newton 1 kgf equals to 9.8 newton or 10 newton. Okay. Now, here is a numerical related to work done. Say, you are, the question says, you are helping to push your mother's heavy shopping cart with a force of 15 newton for 200 meter. That means, what is the force applied by you? 50 newton. And what is the displacement of the object? 200 meter. So what is the amount of work done? What is the formula? Work done is equal to force into displacement. What is the what is the work, uh, what is the force given? 50 newton and what is the displacement? 200 meter. So when you multiply them, how much do you get? 10,000 joules which is also 10 kilo joules. A kilo joule is a higher unit that means when you have a large amount of work done so we use it as kilo joule. Okay, when you lift very heavy object, that means a lot of strength is applied, a lot of displacement takes place, then we use a larger unit of joule, which is kilo joule. So this is, uh, these are the various terms related to work done. So I hope you understood what is work done. A work is said to be done when a force applied on the object, displaces the object, and the examples which are related to work done and work not. Done. So when you push a wall, you push a wall throughout the day, the wall will not move. In that case, the wall will not consider to be done. Okay, but when you lift a bag and you walk around, when you lift a bag and you just travel to certain distance, the bag, you put effort on the bag, carrying the bag and you have, there is a displacement of the bag also. So in that case, walk will be considered to be done. So, and also when there is a uniform circular motion, that means when the displacement will be zero, 
walk will not be considered to be done. And the SI unit to walk done is Joule. Okay, and the smaller unit to walk done is R. And in the next class, we will be discussing about energy. Okay, so today we have some numericals. You have some numericals in your copy, uh, textbook which is related to work done. If you have similar questions, please do those questions. Okay, so we complete, uh, we stop for here today. Thank you so much.